Hey guys, it's me, Jill, again, and in this session, which is session number four, we're going to follow up a little bit more on uh, what we currently talked about or recently talked about um, with trading, um, but we're going to talk about why countries specialize and what that means for, for businesses and uh, the products available to customers. So when we talked earlier about trading, um, it was to be able to get the, the stuff needed to make a product to provide to those customers. And so some countries specialize in certain products. Um, you know, think about it if, uh, you know, one person, can one person make an entire, like, huge blockbuster movie by themselves? Uh, I think some of you would say yes, especially with today's technology, but it'd still be really difficult because you have to think about who's going to act, who's going to put the choreography together, or the special explosive scenes, or the wardrobe, and lighting and sound and music it's a lot of work um, so not that's kind of what I'm talking about when I'm when we talk about specializing not usually one country or one business um, will do everything or have everything available to them to make the product completely on their own you know if you think about it you know can you grow oranges in Alaska you're probably like no you can't but you can it would just take very special equipment, which would end up costing you more than it would if you were to trade or have that product, the oranges come in from somewhere where oranges are readily available, like in Florida. Um, but then there are things in Alaska that are readily available to them that people in Florida might want. So then you have trades and then the specialization. So you talk about, you know, why countries and businesses don't specifically just specialize in one thing to make just that one product that they have to be able to depend on other businesses, other cultures, um, and other resources out there to come together and provide that product. And then it's, okay, get that product out there to the customers, but then also being able to trade to get that product out there. So that's a little bit about uh, specialization and trading and why it's so important for businesses to be able to do that, to be successful. And uh, I will see you guys in our next session.